Hey guys, it's Di, and this is a request to review of the Target brand Up and Up diapers. And we have used these for both girls for quite some time, so I'm quite comfortable in recommending them. And I actually really, really like these diapers. And we used them with Isabella from the time when she was around a year old, right around a year we switched. We were buying the more expensive Huggies and Pampers for a period of time before that. And we switched at around a year old when she was in the size 3 going into size 4 diapers and she's been in them ever since. She's now in size 5 diapers at 2.5 and, and Natalie has been in the up and up Target brand diapers from size 1 on. So I did use the newborn diapers of the Pampers and Huggies variety with her for the first few months. She was actually in newborn diapers for almost 2 months. But then once she was out of the newborn size, we switched directly into the Target Up and Up brand and had no problems whatsoever. So she's currently in a three, my one-year-old that is a little bit smaller. And then my older daughter is in a size five, and this is what the box for the size five looks like. And I found after doing some price comparisons that the price on the Target diapers is quite competitive. And for my purposes, compared to even getting Pampers or Huggies with a coupon, the Target prices always came out cheaper. I especially like because I have two kids in diapers. A lot of times at Target they will have either coupons that come through on the register if you shop there a lot or either coupons that come in mailers for a few dollars off or a few dollars off off if you buy multiple boxes of diapers. Also, they sometimes do in store little red tag sales where they have tags in front of the boxes of diapers where say if you buy a specific number, either two or three boxes of diapers, you get a $5 Target gift card. So that's quite handy as well considering we probably do about 90% of our household shopping at Target, so I'm there quite a bit. And also, you know, a Target gift card is not going to go to waste in our household. So this is what the size three diaper looks like. And you can see it's pretty standard. It has a good elastic on it that is tight without being too tight against the child. And the sides are fairly soft. It's not too rough on their skin. Overall, I'd say the quality of the diaper feels very good for it being an inexpensive diaper. We have used brands like Love's trying them out in the past and other inexpensive brands. And I didn't like the diapers that felt plasticky. These are a material that feels almost cloth-like, but it is kind of more of like a paper cloth material, and I do prefer this type of material. It has a cute little dot print on it, and I also really like, because I have two kids in diapers, that it has the number of the diaper on there, so you can clearly see what number of diaper you have, because for a period of time, Isabella was actually in size four diapers, and Natalie was in size three, so the diapers were very near in size. They were very close to the same size. Isabella just went into size 5 diapers. So for a period of time of about almost six months, we had two sets of diapers that were just slightly different in size for the two girls. So it's very nice that the size is displayed in different dots all over the diaper very prominently. So if you grab one very quickly, you know exactly what size it is. It has this area up here that's kind of almost like a felt paper cloth area that the tab attaches to. And the Velcro is pretty sturdy. If you're in a hurry, very rarely occasionally like maybe once a month I'll be in a hurry and I'll be flipping diapers and I'll pull at this too hard and I will actually just rip this totally off the diaper but it's uh, use your error it's not the diapers fault it's just literally when I'm moving so fast that I just pull this too hard and I literally just rip the material Overall, we haven't had any problems with leakage with these diapers. The biggest thing that I've noticed with regular commercial diapers, if you start having leak problems, it's either A, not a good fit for your child, or if it's a diaper that's been a good fit for your child and it starts leaking, then that usually means it's time to go up to the next size. And typically that has always worked for my kids. If I notice that they start leaking a little bit, it means that they need to go up to the next size and the problem, problem is immediately corrected. So overall with junior use with these, they hold um, you know, a pretty good amount of liquid if you're in the car you know, and you have to be there for a few hours and don't have uh, don't have the ability to stop and change a diaper. They have the ability to do all those sorts of things like car trips and nap times and all that sorts of things just fine. They can hold that amount of liquid. They also do really well at diaper blowouts. And if you're a mom or a dad, you know what I'm talking about. Those just unfortunate instances where you are crossing your fingers and hoping that it gets held in the diaper. We do have those from time to time around my house and knock on wood, 
nine and a half times out of ten these diapers hold it in and even with the more expensive diapers I cannot remember which brand it was I think it was the Huggies diapers that did not work for us we had problems whenever one of the girls well it was Isabella that would have uh, you know a diaper explosion it would not hold it in so these have worked out really well for us and I do have kids that are pretty lean so I don't know if the body type plays into it what's a little bit but both of my girls are fairly lean Isabella's a little bit taller Natalie's quite short and these work for both of them quite well Isabella we started out in the size 3 diapers just for a very short period of time and basically at size 4 she went to the up and up diaper and I basically got to the point where she was my first child so we were buying the more expensive everything and and we went to the up and up diapers and I went hey these work just as well if not better than some of the more expensive brands why not just stick with these so she was in the size 4 for a very long time I believe she was in a size 4 diaper for almost a year and she just recently went into size 5 so this is what the size 5 looks like compared to the 3 so you can tell that there's quite a bit of size difference and when she was in a 4 it was probably just a little bit slightly bigger than the 3 and so you can see that the 5's are displayed prominently so you can easily tell even if it was a four and a three that this one was a five and this one was a three so the patterns are the same from size one to size six right now they have these green and blue dots on them and I believe they just changed like a year ago to this design so it should probably be like this for a while the function is the same no matter the size there's really no difference in function between the three and the five and they both work just as effectively for nap time and that sort of thing the only thing I will say and this is just something I have traditionally done is I always use a nighttime diaper for nighttime and overnights and so Isabella does use a nighttime Huggies diaper however Natalie who's quite small and she's still in size 3 and she's just at the entrance level for this she is about 18 pounds and size 3 starts at 17 pounds she actually uses these target up and up diapers overnight with no problems whatsoever she generally does not leak overnight and that sort of thing so in a pinch or just if you wanted to like with Natalie it still works so I figured I'm not going to pay the more expensive price for overnight diapers these could actually be even used overnight if you wanted as well so all in all I really don't have anything negative to say about these diapers we have used a number of more expensive brands Pampers and Huggies in the past and we also have tried some of the other cheaper brands uh, some of them I didn't even really even like I believe it was like the loves and all the ones that feel plastically I just really don't like these are a really nice kind of feel to them and they're decent quality for the price and I do feel like I save money with these and we as you can see buy a ton of diapers every month a box like this this has 108 and 108 diapers is usually around $21 so I give you kind of a price point comparison and when they're on sale they're even a little bit cheaper than that they have a club pack which is even a little bit larger size than this which is either 120 to 140 diapers depending on what size your um, child's wearing and those are around $25 and those are the best value that you can get all in all these have really, really worked out for us. So let me know what questions you guys have. I'd be happy to answer them. And also, I just wanted to mention that we also use Target Up and Up Baby Wipes, the unscented blue version, and also the Target Up and Up Diaper Rash Ointment, which is the vitamin A and B skin protectant, and we absolutely love these as well. The wipes, I really, really like that they're not super saturated. We use these to clean off tray tables and all sorts of things around our house and this ointment we've used since Isabella was a little baby and it works really really great at protecting against diaper rash and my kids very rarely get diaper rash or anything of that sort so hopefully this has been helpful let me know if you guys have any questions thanks so much for watching and have a great day